We're here at the press booth at the 2008 Java One Conference in San Francisco, and I'm with Josh Slack, one of the creators of the JMonkey engine. Josh? Thanks for having me on. No, thanks for taking time to talk to us. So, you're a professional game developer. That's what they say. That's what they say. <laughs> Not a professional game player like myself. And um, you've created a technology, you're one of the, the uh, two folks that created a piece of technology called the JMonkey Engine. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that technology? Well, the JMonkey Engine is an open source scene graph API that lets you build 3D games or 3D applications in Java, I think, faster and easier than ever before possible. Okay, so when we talk about it being a scene graph API, mm -hmm. can you explain a little bit about that? Yeah, so a scene graph allows you to set up a 3D world in sort of a spatial uh, relationship set, and it allows the engine to sort of make choices about what should be rendered and what shouldn't be, and all that is hidden from you, or you don't have to look at it as a games developer. You can just let the scene graph do its thing. Okay, so basically you are taking that complexity away from the developer, letting them just focus on the animation and the graphics and right, right. So we provide particle systems and special effects and things like that that plug into that, and you can just pick and choose what you'd like to use from that. So now this is an engine technology that's also being used in professional level games as well as consumer level games. Right, right. Uh, so it's being used in, in games and also in research and uh, government projects, things like that. Um, but the sexiest part, of course, is the professional games, and it's been really exciting to see where that's going. Yeah, I see that we have a couple of demos back behind us here. Right, right. So we have, um, on the screen, we have uh, student games from Georgia Tech, um, and a lot of universities are using it to teach gaming uh, to students. Excellent. So. What are some uh, professional games that we've seen start to use the technology? Well, we have um, Gamma Locus over in uh, Europe using it for Call of the Kings, and that's using Project Dark Star on the back end. And uh, it's uh, also the company, obviously, that I work for, NCSoft, one of the largest uh, MMO companies out there, uh, is using it for some uh, game experiments, as we're calling it at the moment. Um, but some pretty cool stuff there. Uh, Jade Stone is uh, another company in Europe that's using it for uh, sports games and some fantasy games. And then uh, right here in San Francisco, there's uh, Three Rings, who's using it for Bang Howdy, which you <laughs> might have seen already. It's a great game. Yeah. It is an absolutely great game. So if people want to go ahead and find out more information about the JMonkey Engine and how they can get access to it. Well, get to uh, jmonkeyengine.com and uh, definitely check out the forums. That's where all the action is. The community is very helpful, and uh, we love getting new people on there. So. Excellent. I also say, again, it's open source, and it's a BSD license, it's, uh, so it's really easy to use. It's easy to get your legal department happy about it. Um, and yeah, so it's really exciting. Fantastic. So jmonkeyengine.com. Thank you so much, Josh, for Thank you. taking time out. And Josh and I are going to go play some of these games instead of just watching them. So, what do you say? I think that's awesome. awesome.